What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Intel Core i7 3770K processor on a Asus P8Z77V LK motherboard. So here's the processor itself. It is a 3.5 GHz processor and the socket for the Asus motherboard is an 1155. So to get started, you want to unbox your processor and pull it out. And what you do not want to do is touch the bottom. You don't want to touch this or you don't want to touch the socket on the motherboard itself. The heat sink comes in the box with the processor and it already has thermal paste on the heat sink. So you want to grab the processor and this pin right here comes in the box like this. What you want to do is pull this pin out and pull it all the way back and the cover comes up with it. So this is how the processor goes in it. And if you look on each side there's a notch and there's a gold triangle at the bottom left corner of it. You have to look on your socket and match this triangle up with the triangle on your CPU. There are also two notches on the socket itself to hold your CPU in the correct location. So what you want to do is just set it in there and make sure it's in there secure and just pull it down. Pull that pin down and you might hear a little bit of crunching. But all this is is the pins pressing into your CPU. This cover comes off when you install the CPU. You want to make sure you keep this cover in a, in a place that you know so you can use it later on. If you ever take your motherboard off or something, this cover is very important on keeping your socket clean and protecting it from getting damaged. This heat sink right here, like I said, already comes with thermal paste. But if you ever get a heat sink that doesn't have thermal paste, I recommend Arctic Silver 5. You can buy it at Radio Shack or pretty much anywhere online. Sometimes some people like to scrape off the the uh, thermal paste on the heat sink and put their own thermal paste on it. Today we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and put it on there. And I'll show you how to do that. You want to take these pins and make sure every single one of them are closed together as tightly as they as they can and you line them up with these four holes on the outside of the socket so once you get them lined up you want to put pressure on the two corners first and then the next two corners you can feel them pop in and once they're in you want to turn the little black pins on the top to the right. This locks the pins in place. So after you get your heat sink on guys, you want to plug in your fan. into the motherboard and here are your two fan plugins you want to make sure that the slide for the pin is lined up with the slide on the motherboard and you just want to push it in there without too much force and there you go that's how you install a CPU guys next we're going to install an 8 gigabyte 1 by 8 Kingston RAM. So let's go ahead and get that unboxed. Now, 
this ram only goes in one way. Typically, if you only have one one slot of RAM, you want to put it on the slot that's closest to the CPU. If you have two slots of RAM, you want to put it on the second one from the CPU and then skip one. That's how you do dual RAM. If you have three and so on, you need to look up how to do that particular setup. So line up this notch with the notch on your RAM slot and get it ready to go in and you want to put firm pressure on both sides and you can feel it go in and the slots will automatically lock in whenever this the RAM gets locked in place so it's a pretty easy process guys so that's how you install a CPU and a RAM on my P8Z77LK motherboard I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you like. You can subscribe to my channel. I'll have more how-to videos later on. On this particular case, I'll be installing the power supply and the GPU next. Thanks guys. Peace out.